When you register at NiceHash, you get multiple cryptocurrency wallets. You can access your wallets by clicking this tab in the navigation menu. You can always click this button or if you have balances, your wallets are shown in your dashboard. I will just click this button. So here is the wallets section. On the left side, we see a quick overview of our account. Now, this number may change uh, in time because the price of Bitcoin changes on the market all the time. So we can toggle this number between uh, Euro and Bitcoin. So if I leave it in Bitcoin, the number will stay the same if nothing changes in my wallets. But if I'm uh, looking at the fiat value, this value will change over time because the Bitcoin price goes up and down. Total assets. So this is everything that we have in our account. So this is a combination between uh, the available balance and pending and in orders balances. Available balance is our, these are our liquid uh, funds. So we can immediately uh, withdraw them. We can uh, exchange them on the nice exchange. We can, uh, we can use uh, these funds to order uh, some hash power. If I click withdraw, uh, this pop-up will open and I can select uh, any wallet that I want to withdraw from. But I will not go uh, through this process now. Uh, I can also click deposit and I can select uh, the wallet uh, that I want to deposit to, for example, Litecoin. If I click then, if I click show Litecoin address, I will get my deposit address. Pending and in order section. So here we can see all the funds that are locked, but uh, we still have them or we can expect to happen. So for example, unpaid mining balance. This is something that we uh, will get once the payment uh, will get processed. If we have some uh, withdrawals uh, that are still pending, we will also see this here. If we have some deposits uh, that we are waiting uh, to get deposited, we will see the number here. If we have some orders uh, on our exchange, we will also see uh, the balance here. So these are our locked funds. These are our available or liquid funds. And total assets is, is just the sum of uh, both numbers. On the right side, so here we can see all the available uh, wallets. Uh, we can toggle between uh, grid view or list view. Uh, I prefer the, the list view um, in this upper section under your wallet. So here you can see all the wallets that have a balance. So that where balance is greater than zero, of course. Under available uh, wallets or currencies, uh, we can see all the wallets that have a zero balance. So now if I uh, open or uh, first, if I toggle to a list view, I can uh, sort this uh, list by name, available balance, euro value, and so on. Now, if I open, uh, for example, a Bitcoin wallet, now this is uh, a wallet screen. So here again, I can see the total number of Bitcoins in my account and this total number is a sum of available balance and pending and orders balance. So available balance is a liquid uh, balance, so I can do whatever I want with this balance. This balance is still locked uh, either in uh, unpaid uh, uh, mining balance, in deposits, withdrawals, exchange orders or hash power orders. Now I can withdraw this available balance. So uh, balance, available balance is a way, uh, available for withdraw. If I click this, of course, I can go through this uh, procedure of withdrawing my funds. I can also click deposit to deposit Bitcoin to, to this wallet. I only have to click show Bitcoin address and the uh, Bitcoin deposit address is shown in this field. I can also buy additional uh, bitcoins. So when I want to do that, I'm taken to a uh, to an exchange. So this is a simple view. 
uh, and to buy Bitcoin, of course, I have to spend some other cryptocurrency that I have at my disposal. I will go back and uh, if I want to sell Bitcoin, uh, meaning exchanging Bitcoin for some other cryptocurrency, I can also do that. So this is a simple view. For example, if I want to, uh, if I want to sell half of my Bitcoin for Ether, I can just press 50% and the current exchange rate will be calculated. Down here, we can see some uh, history in our uh, wallet. So currently we are uh, looking at all the activities for Bitcoin. If we are interested only in uh, uh, our exchange activity, we can click uh, exchanges and all the orders will be uh, listed. We can also see all the mining payments. So this is, uh, this is the list of our uh, mining payments. Uh, we can see hash power uh, orders. So this, this profile has, has no um, uh, transactions regarding hash power marketplace. We can also see some deposits. So these are all transactions where we were uh, depositing uh, Bitcoin. Withdrawals are all transactions where we have uh, withdrawn uh, Bitcoin and other is usually here are some other transactions, maybe nice hash repayment program transactions uh, or uh, some other transactions that do not fit in any other category. On the left side is uh, a menu of other uh, wallets. So if I click any other wallet, I can just navigate uh, to this specific wallet. So this is a short uh, overview of NiceHish Wallet and we invite you to try it out.